I'm Amanda. I can remember the first time that I started photography. I went to Disney World in fifth grade and I remember my grandma bought me one of those disposable cameras with like the film in it that you get from like CVS. And we were watching this parade with all like the princesses and all the Disney characters. And I remember just taking pictures of every single second. And from that point on, I just loved photography so much. And it just really made me realize that there's more to every moment than what you see. And you can capture more than what you see with your eyes. So when I was in about eighth grade, I really got into portraits. And I just love the fact that you could take someone and really bring out their true beauty and take one aspect of someone and then make it into something so much more unique than it already is. So I did do landscapes and nature a little bit for a few years and I like that but I feel like anyone can just snap a picture of the sunset and then call it a picture but when you really get close and in depth to something, it brings out more than what you see. So here you can see I am editing a current portrait that I took a few weeks ago. And when I edit portraits, I don't really like to really change much about the person. I might change the lighting or a few things that went wrong in the camera, but I don't really like to change much because if you edit too much on someone, then it's not really a portrait. It's more of like, here's what I can do to change someone to not make it look like them. So when I edit portraits, I usually just fix a few things and then maybe enhance some of the colors. Since eighth grade, I have had artwork sent to the Teen Arts Festival that is held at our local county college. And from there, I have advanced to the Wacko Valley Invitational Art Show. I've also had lots of artwork sent to several art shows around our county for about three years in a row and last year I had a piece of digital photography sent to the State House of New Jersey and involved in a competition that was statewide. Amanda is one of my photography students. I was blessed to be introduced to her last year in one of my classes and this year is very special because she is the first ever student who is taking AP photo. I have never taught an AP class before so it's nice to go through this process with Amanda who is very diligent in doing her work and really cares about all of her photography. She has gone through kind of like a 360 of concentrations that she's wanted to do. It's been awesome to see this growth in her because we started off really focusing on the human anatomy and now we're taking it to new levels by concentrating on different body parts and what they can and cannot do and what they look like. Amanda has really inspired a lot of people around her too. She always has a great quality of work and I'm really proud that she's actually going out into the workforce and she's working for Anthony Zuccardi Studios. So it's nice to see that her taking everything that I've taught her in class and applying it to a real life career almost. I look forward to her being on this journey and she's doing a great job, especially by broadcasting and showcasing all of her work, especially in the library. And I look forward to her and her college career and what she becomes with all this photography.